Okay, so this tutorial is going to cover um, what are your options when you receive a CareStream CBCT scan or what you're referring doctor receives when you burn a CD or USB drive. So what are their options? What do they see so you can help them? A couple of options. First, you can actually run the scan with what's called the simple browser. So what does that mean? It means you're really running the CD or, or running the scan off of the CD or USB drive. You're not installing anything, you're just running it from that drive. So the pros of that application is there's no need to install the software. That's about it. The cons are scans take longer to open when you run it from the CD or USB drive. There's no 3D rendering. Treatment plans do not save. Also, there's no implant library to download. Okay, so let me give you an example of what that looks like. So if this is my USB drive, this is what you're referring dentist or what you're going to see. Here's the scan that was burned. Double click into it and I can see here's my simple browser. If I double click that, it's going to launch a little box with a couple of options. And you'll see open a volume or install application. We're going to select open the volume. So once the volume is open, and again it may take longer to open compared to opening something locally, you're going to see we're in the curve slicing tab. There's no 3D rendering in any of my tabs. Number one. Number two, under curve slicing, there's no implant library. I cannot download the implant library. So I still have the slice views, which is typically more important, but some like to have the 3D rendering. All right, so that's the difference. That's what you're going to see when you run the simple browser. Next option is to install the application. So what does that mean? It means you're installing the full version of the software on your computer. So once the software is installed, your pros are you get the full version, not just a browser. Treatment plans are saved. Full downloadable implant library. 3D rendering view. Scans typically will open faster when they're moved locally to your computer. And you can also store your scans. You can rename them and you can have them backed up on your computer, your server versus storing a bunch of CDs or a bunch of USB drives. What are the cons? The cons are the initial setup takes a little bit longer. That's about it. Once it's done and once it's set up the first time, though, it's really much easier and faster going forward. So how do we do that? So I can go back to my USB drive. And again, click on the scan, run the simple browser. And instead of opening a volume, I'm going to select Install Application. Hit Next, and it's really just going to walk me through installing the full version of the software. Once I'm done, I can go to my data folder. And within the data folder, there's another folder with a bunch of numbers. Click into that. You're going to see that's where your DICOM file is and all the slices. So I can go back to this folder, right-click on it, copy it paste it to my desktop or to any other folder somewhere on my computer or my server or wherever. Once it copies over, and again, depending on your speed, it should be uh, reasonably fast. I can rename it, whatever the patient's name is. So now going forward, I can drop any of these DICOM slices right onto my 3D imaging software and the software will load from there. Very simple way to do it. And the last way you can do it is by importing scans. If you are already a CareStream Imaging customer, you can import the scans right into the patient record. And probably the easiest and the best way to do it long-term, stored on your server, backed up on your server, uh, which are part of the pros. Everything's going to be integrated. 3D imaging software would typically already be installed and ready to launch. Nothing to reinstall, things like that. The cons, there really aren't any cons to this. So if you have the CareStream imaging, this is the way to go. And to do that, I'm going to show you in the dental imaging software. 
So when I have this uh, patient record up, I'm going to go to File, Import 3D Volumes, and I go right to my USB drive, and I go to my Scan, my Data folder, and I highlight this folder because that's where the DICOM images reside. And I select OK. And then just uh, wait however long, depending on the speed of your computer. And when that's done, you're going to have it and can access it right from your patient record. And you can see 3D volumes. Here's the scan that I just imported. Mm -hmm.